Hello, beloveds. Welcome to my channel, Divine Truth Tarot. Today's message is urgent and extremely imperative and important. I've been sitting with this now for quite a few days, even weeks, and wondering how to put it together. So I decided that I will be, I've, I've taken some notes and I will be sharing some information about what's going on right now in the collective, as well as picking some cards. So I've been told to do a little bit of both. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe, please tune in. I have, uh, this is a new channel, but we're building it very quickly. And we would love to have you be a part of this community. So if you're a twin flame, if you resonate with divine feminine, divine masculine energies or higher soulmate connections, you will definitely resonate with my messages. Or even if you just resonate with being a star seed, um, if you resonate with being a light worker or way shower, you will resonate with my messages because we all carry divine feminine, divine masculine energies within. So I'm going to get right to the message today. If you do wish to have a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at the email in the description box below each video. In addition, if you'd like to have a true purpose coaching session, I do offer those as well to help you get into soul alignment. And that is the most important thing for all of us to be doing right now. Um, in fact, getting into alignment with yourself takes priority and precedence even over getting into physical union with your twin right now. We are being called to be sovereign beings at this time. You will be calling your twin in by doing that, but it's very important that you step into your own power, divine feminines, divine masculines. So without further ado, let's get started. So what's going on right now, as most of you know or have noticed, is the world is crumbling around us. Um, foundations are crumbling, systems are crumbling. Taxes in the US are being pushed back until July. Um, car payments, credit card payments, mortgage pay payments are being delayed. We are given exceptions for basically for rent. Um, you know, landlords uh, are working with people and making sure that people just have the basic necessities like food on the table and making sure that the children are being taken care of. The world is falling apart. The world is on fire, and yet we're coming together more than ever before. Um, what a time to be alive. What a time to be here, to be sitting here, to be a divine feminine or divine masculine, to be a twin flame, to know that you're here to hold down the grid of the new earth. We are birthing the new earth. We are here. So everything that people like myself and others have been speaking about for months or years is finally coming to fruition. It's finally here and all of that work that we did to prepare for this, the time is finally here. And it almost feels surreal. I've had so many friends and clients um, and followers just say, it feels surreal, Sarah, to be here right now. I mean, we knew this was coming. We knew this was coming because we couldn't continue doing things the way that we were. We knew we had to slow down. I mean, intuitively, we knew this. Everybody felt this. Families felt this. Children felt this. Animals felt this. The earth was telling us. The earth is continuing to tell us with earthquakes and tsunamis and tornadoes and hurricanes and fires. She's telling us that she's in pain, that things cannot go on at this rapid pace and acceleration that we need to slow down and go within. The world took control. The earth, Mother Gaia took control and said, no more, no more humans, we've had enough. The plants have had enough. The earth has been ravaged. The animals have spoken. And the angels and our guides, our ancestors from the other side are shaking their heads. No more. The time to slow down and go within and truly connect to your innate nature and knowing is here. Now, divine feminine energies have known this for quite some time. So I wanna talk a little bit about what's going on with divine feminine and divine masculine because the divine feminines have been going through ascension for years, years, maybe even decades for some of us. It's been a slow, gradual process. There's been many dark nights of the soul and many tower moments. Many divine feminines have been in emotionally abusive, potentially even uh, physically abusive relationships. They've learned hard lessons. 
they've had to step into their power in the most traumatic ways for many and the divine masculines the the energy if if you know again whether this is just energy it could be male female um, heterosexual homosexual it doesn't matter but the divine masculine energies were busy distracting themselves with karmic relationships and societal expectations and obligations and really ignoring their own truth and ignoring their own true essence for many many years and decades divine masculines have been working themselves ragged they've been sick they've been lonely they've been bored they've been in pain they've been repressing their childhood trauma childhood wounds they've been ignoring their inner child but in those moments where everything slowed down maybe for five seconds or five minutes out of the day or out of the week the divine masculines felt that something was missing in their lives and that was their divine feminine so the moment that you two met in the physical the moments that that kundalini energy came together what happened was an explosion for the divine masculine that was really hard to take all at once but for the feminine she was craving it she was ready for it in most instances in many ways she was ready for it maybe not fully or entirely but she was really ready for it because she's been preparing for that for years with her ascension process so they're sitting in different places with different perspectives he feels exactly what you feel but he just doesn't know how to handle it it felt like he got inundated with all of these feelings and emotions and things were woken up inside of him that he didn't know what to do and so the divine masculine has for the most part pushed away the divine feminine maybe even ghosted her he has um, gone quiet hot and cold in and out behavior that's been very typical of our divine masculines as they find their ground in this new earth that was being birthed last year was chaotic for many twin flames a lot of twin flames came together last year and the year prior and last year was chaotic because the masculines you know they know that the relationships that they're in uh if they're in one that they know that emotionally they've been checked out for a long time they're just there out of duty and obligation to somebody else they're putting themselves and their needs aside and closing off their heart so that they can stay in a situation because they feel duty and obligation to the world to society to their neighbors to their families to the karmic partner and they need to find a way and they are doing this right now and i'm going to go into this in just a moment of closing out those relationships in a way that is loving and in a way that they can detach with closing out the karmic cycle so that they can then move towards their divine feminine and their true purpose their individual mission as well right now the earth is calling for twin flames to step into their mission joint mission will come but right now as sovereign beings we need to step into our individual mission so if you're feeling a calling to quit that job if you're you know that corporate job if you're feeling a calling right now to pursue studies or courses that you've always wanted to pursue but said maybe later but then later never came because it never comes because it's always now do it now this is the perfect time to slow down take that online course get certified you know and healing or or who knows maybe it's a writing course or a math course i don't know but get certified if you're feeling a soul pull to something check that out be curious about that and if you need additional help i can work with you in my soul coaching sessions but find a way to dig deeper and find a way to really do something that will fuel your soul that's going to help the earth that's going to help others because we're here to serve divine twin flames we knew exactly what we signed up for and now the time is here to serve we are no longer in preparation we are in it it is happening it is underway the change is here right now right here right now there is no more waiting or preparing or later it's now so we need you to shine your light more than ever before the world is going crazy and really truly this message is for divine masculines let go or be dragged you will be taken into this new earth you are acclimating whether you like it or not your dna is acclimating you have met your divine feminine at this point and your divine feminine even if you've just met her in dreams your divine feminine is leading the way 
you know what your soul desires. You can no longer pretend that it's okay to stay where you are. You can no longer pretend to be okay with settling. It no longer feels right in your soul. So divine feminines, by setting your boundaries, and I know many of you have, okay? By setting your boundaries and telling your masculine, I will not accept less than. I will not be the other woman. I will not be the woman on the side. I will not be the one that you have to hide because of this karmic partner. I will not be the one who waits around. I will not wait for anyone. Doesn't mean I won't hold space for you and for our love and this connection to develop when the time is right and when you're ready, but I will not wait. And I will no longer tolerate in and out and hot and cold behavior. I will not tolerate uncertainty on your part because I am certain. I am certain that it is you who I want. I am certain that it is this that I want. So I will not tolerate anything less from you or anyone else. By finally setting your boundaries in your life, Divine Feminine, after probably many years of not having those boundaries in any relationship, by understanding your worth and understanding that you are an empress, an high priestess who can create the life that she desires, what you've done is you've set your Divine Masculine, first of all, into a tailspin, his ego. He took a hit. His ego took a hit with those words and that conversation, but it needed to be done. It was divinely guided, divine intervention. And by doing that, by showing him that you won't accept less, you taught him, you're teaching him how not to accept less in his life, in his karmic relationship, in his, with his work, with his relationships in general, with his life. So he's now contemplating what is this life? What is important to me? And why have I settled for the sake of someone else's happiness? Why am I settling in my life? Why? When I have this beautiful goddess who wants to be with me, who would treat me right, who has this love for me unconditionally. Why would I turn away from that? He's questioning all of these things. So divine feminine, by you standing in your power, you actually led to your divine masculine spiritual awakening and ascension process and tower moments after tower moments that are happening right now in their own lives, their relationships, their mind, their patterns, okay, their, their spirituality, what do they really believe in? I mean, they're questioning everything right now, everything they've been taught, everything their parents taught them, what is real and what matters? Does that matter? Because somebody said that to me 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. Is that my truth? They're discovering their truth now because of you and thanks to you. In Twin Flames, we know more than anyone what it means to sit in uncertainty and not know what comes next because we've had to do this in blind faith and unconditional love this entire journey, not knowing, will I talk to my Twin Flame again? Will I see them again? Are they gone forever? What's, what comes next? Do they leave the karmic partner? Do we end up together? We don't know. So we sit in blind faith and unconditional love. So we are ready for this. But you may have family members or friends or coworkers who are freaking out. The world is freaking out. You know, strangers when you have to go out in public to go shopping right now, because that's really all we're allowed to do, food shopping, essentials. You may encounter these individuals and their energy and it's really important that you hold your energy down. It's like I said before in previous videos, the divine feminine is holding it down for the world, for the earth, for the world, for herself, for her connection, for her masculine, for her family, for her friends, for the whole world. And she's showing everyone this is how it's done. Pay attention to that knowing in your heart and make sure that you're shielding yourself when you go out in public. This is a shield. This is actually a heart chakra activator, but it's a shield. It's a protector. So make sure you're wearing something close to your, your throat, your heart, your solar plexus, you know, all of those areas that might be affected. Your crown chakra, maybe you wear a hat or a headband or something to protect that crown chakra. Divine masculines right now, the energy that they're in, feminines, is they're focused on honesty. Believe it or not, they're focused on honesty and transparency and bringing in closure to karmic cycles. So they have to do this by healing that relationship first. Um, they have to heal the hurt that they've caused within that karmic relationship and any deception that they've caused because they, they were deceptive to you and to the karmic partner and to themselves primarily. And if you're not honest with yourself, you can't be honest with anyone. So they have to heal that pain once and for all so that they can close that door. They can close that karmic cycle for good the right way in an honest way. And then they can come towards you, but they, they have to close out. See, the thing about it is if you're the one in a karmic relationship, for anyone out there who's a twin flame who's in a karmic relationship or marriage, you that is an impediment, that is a block in your connection, that is a 
major or main block in your connection. You cannot, your energies cannot fully merge until you physically separate from that relationship. You have to release one to get into another, not only for morality reasons. Um, I mean, those are questionable. You know, people have different opinions when it comes to your twin flame because they were yours, you know, since the beginning of time, you're already in spiritual marriage and partnership. But I'm talking about there's an actual uh, block, an energetic block that you feel because they need to release that. And also divine feminine or divine masculine, if your partner is in a karmic relationship, why would you want to take on that energy? Why would you want to take on that karma? You don't. Stay away. Let them figure it out. So right now there's a collapsing of false templates going on around the world and the masculines are feeling this within internally and, and internally in their own lives. Um, and they're no longer identifying with these false systems, beliefs, or structures that were embedded into them, you know, when they were young, that were embedded into them by their parents who didn't know any better, or um, just, it was just indoctrination from churches, from, um, you know, religious uh, systems, or from culture, or just from families, and they're realizing that they can decide for themselves, that they're craving you for a reason. They can't forget about you. They're trying, they've tried, and they can't. You don't go away ever in their mind. You're always there. They see signs and synchronicities and numbers. They see your name. They hear songs. They hear you speaking to them. There's that 5D connection and dream state 4D connection. They cannot forget about you and they know that this is never going away, that you're never going away. And how are they going to live their lives knowing that they threw away the most amazing connection that was ever given to them and that would ever be given to them. They can't live with themselves any longer, but they know they have to close out cycles first. So divine feminine, you spoke your truth and you will no longer be carrying the burden for anybody, anybody, not your divine masculine, not your beloved, your twin flame, nobody, not family members, nobody. Everybody needs to be sovereign right now and everybody needs to be doing their job and doing their part. Do not put the burden of projection onto somebody else right now because twin flames will, we are here to hold it down. We are here to um, instill hope and faith, but we will also protect ourselves at all costs. I just saw 717. We have to do our parts, but no energy siphoning from anybody. The divine feminine will no longer be accepting this, not even from her divine masculine. No more. You cannot take from her divine masculine. You must create your own energy. You must create your own truth. So the DM is in turn unwilling to carry the burden of the karmic partner in toxic patterns and contracts based on outdated societal rules or programming. The divine masculine is waking up to his truth and alignment within his old soul, within his own soul, excuse me, <clears throat> and he sees his divine feminine holding her own without him or anyone. Stay in your power, divine feminines. You're showing your masculine. You're lighting the way and you're showing him how it's done. So I'm going to start as I always do with the cards. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if this is resonating. Don't forget to like and share. And I created a video two days ago. You can find it on my channel. And if you watch it till the end, you'll get all the information. Um, I'm giving away a free reading since I did reach and I've gone over now 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So I will be deciding, I will just be randomly choosing that person, but I do need you to leave a comment on at least five videos to like at least five videos. And I need you to share the videos on your social media or with at least five people. And I also need you to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be announcing the winner next Thursday. Love is the most powerful healing force there is. I give it and accept it without limitation. I help create a world where it is safe for us to love each other. Divine feminine, divine masculine. So that is our how to love yourself message for today. I am going to start with, I'm kind of obsessed with this deck right now. It's the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Elena Fairchild. Clear. So I'm going to start with this today. Let's see what we've got going on energetically. So let's start with a message from the Divine Masculine to his Divine Feminine. Celery Juice Strong. Any other Celery Juice Warriors, Medical Medium Warriors out there? I'm healing from Adrenal Fatigue and Eczema. 
a lot of people on the spiritual path are have connected with medical medium and its protocols. So I'm just curious. All right, so what's going on? Is there a message from the divine masculine to his divine feminine? Thank you. Yes, there is. He's diving for the light right now. He wants you to know that he is doing his work, that he is ascending, that with your help, with your lighting the way, that he is ascending into who he is meant to be. Um, I see this as a lot of watery energy, emotional energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but it doesn't have to be. You may be a water sign, he may be a water sign, or you just might have heavy water elements in your chart. But I do see this as he's letting you know that he is submerging. So this is one of the reasons he's quiet right now, Divine Feminine, is he's really searching for the truth. Yeah, he's searching for the truth and the light within himself. He's trying not to siphon the energy from you anymore because you've set those real, firm, healthy boundaries. And this came up, I believe, yesterday or the day before. I think it was the day before. Maybe it was yesterday in the live that I did. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. Um, I'll be doing more lives, and I will be hoping to do that uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays is what I'd like to do. So at least a couple times a week at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll have you know a study time that we can look forward to every uh, week, a couple times a week. And of course, you can always watch the replay. But I will be doing, just so you guys know on those lives, I will be doing, um, once I have enough people on the lives, there's only a few right now, I will be doing um, readings. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be having a lot of fun on those lives. So conscious connections, this is the twin flame, this is the mirror. He sees you as his mirror, and he's looking to you for his strength and for his guidance right now, even if there's no, communication even if you're in physical separation you're never in 5d separation and he wants a conscious connection right now he no longer wants the karmic connection or the unfulfilling relationship he's tired of it and honestly guys frankly this time that they're spending with the karmic partner where they're in isolation is driving them crazy because all it's doing instead of bringing them closer which if you were with your twin flame it would bring you closer although it may of course release some triggers but with a karmic partner, it does the opposite. It actually helps them realize how much they miss their divine feminine, and it helps them realize um, their true worth and what they really want in their life. It's, it's helping them realize how lonely and alone and unhappy they truly are in this relationship because there's really no love in these relationships. It's, um, you know, they're relationships of convenience their relationships of well we've been together for x amount of time we might as well stay together or it's for the kids or you know it there's religion or there's you know culture or family there's a lot of different reasons but these reasons are not based in your divine masculine's truth of who he really is he did not come here to settle he did not come here to play it safe he came here to play big he came here to spread his light and he's not doing that right now when he's with the karmic partner because it's impossible because she does not help him grow he's also contemplating i believe this came up yesterday too for the masculines what do i feel so the same themes are coming up from yesterday to today what do i feel he's going within what do i feel what do i truly desire what do i want apples to oranges there is no comparison with divine feminine and karmic partner there's no comparison none None, none. And you do see the earth in this photo. So what I also see there is he's realizing that this is all happening for a reason. He's starting to release his fears and he's realizing that this um, situation that the earth is in right now, that the world is in globally, he's realizing that, wait, I have a part in this and it's a real powerful, significant part. So divine feminine, how does she feel about her divine masculine? Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. These cards are kind of tough to shuffle, guys. Sacred Fool. So to me, this is like the Fool card in um, the you know original tarot deck so this is the beginning of the major arcana this is and this has been coming up a lot for divine feminines this is a new journey new path new cycles forming um, she's not anybody's fool she's no longer going to ascribe to what society expects her to do she's gonna do her own thing she's gonna wear her own clothes she's gonna you know color her hair pink she's going to um, shock people 
I mean, as you can see in this card, you can see her breasts. You can see that she's not afraid to um, expose her divine femininity because she knows it is divine. And she's not afraid of what people are going to say or think about her. She truly is on her own path and she's not going to be puppeteered. See, this is what we're breaking down right now in society and globally is we're breaking down um, this concept that we can be controlled because humans are saying no longer, we will not be controlled by these systems. These are outdated systems and those in power um, do not have our best interests at heart. And she's, she, I mean, this is what's going on here. She will not be puppeteered. She is the one in control. She is the master. She is the emperor. She is the high priestess. She will create her own reality as she sees fit. Pandora's gift. Pandora's gift. So, actually, look at the book for this one. There is a mythic woman, much maligned throughout history, whose name means all gifted. Pandora lives within us as our curious nature, yearning to conquer chaos, evil, and darkness with the light of knowledge. She is the hopeful voice of our soul that asks the questions and in doing so triggers the process that brings the answers. Sometimes it is through uncomfortable learning that we find our treasure. Pandora reminds us that the process of learning can take us to places that seem like the end of our world and yet all is not lost. Even now, the light within you is stirring for new revelation, new life, and new adventure. Okay, I think that speaks for itself. So what else would the Divine Feminine like to tell her Divine Masculine? shock of the new so yeah there's a new earth being birthed that's the theme of this video that's the theme of life right now of the globe of the planet and um she's saying that she feels the shock of the new but that i mean look how in control and empowered this woman is she's not wavering she's unwavering you know in her strength and in her position to truly offer a sense of peace to those around her and her throat chakra you can see her throat chakra is really on fire she's hearing she's starting to become clairaudience she's clairsentient but clairaudience i see very strongly here so a lot of you might start be starting to hear your divine masculine more just hear messages um, or songs coming through um, i'm even hearing some of you will realize that you're a psychic medium and you will be hearing um, you know, those who have crossed over basically starting to communicate with you. So you might start to hear and feel all sorts of things that are new. So it's the shock of the new. It's, it's this realizing that um, you're an immortal being and you're a spiritual being. You're human. You're a spiritual being having a human experience and not the other way around. So I would like to see now what's going on with the connection. Dream a beautiful dream. Twin flames, this is our time. This is what we've been preparing for for lifetimes upon lifetimes and in this entire lifetime specifically. And we are building a new earth. You see how I've been saying it's on fire. So the old is on fire. We're setting fire and setting flame to what was so we can birth what's new. This is the card of birthing the new earth. We're dreaming a beautiful dream and it's actually coming to fruition. People are starting to realize that we're not as crazy as they thought we were or that we're not crazy at all. Any of us who are light workers, you know, who have been shining our light and I think people primarily were just really scared. Uh, it was more of fear. So when anyone comes at you and you know they might call names or they might make fun of you or joke, they're really in fear um, because a part of them th believes that what you're saying is true. So now that we're coming forward with all of this information, and now that it's actually unfolding the way that it is physically in 3D reality, people are realizing, wow, they were right there is truth to this although many are still in fear and many are trying to shield themselves and many are are not they're stuck in the old template and it's going to be really painful i mean they're going to have no choice it's let go or be dragged they're going to have no choice but to move forward because change is upon us change is imminent it's a lot easier if you just let go so let's find out what are the energies of the Divine Masculine right now? What are the energies? We know he's going within. We know he's diving for light. We know he's trying to find out what he feels. We know he's craving this conscious connection. We know he's helping to anchor in and grid this new earth with his Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is the physical and the Divine Feminine is the spiritual. So right now, he's physically behind the scenes working relentlessly while she is in the 3D working very hard and in the 4D as well. These cards are sticky. 
This came up, it's so amazing. The same cards are coming up, and you guys saw me shuffle. So the same cards are coming up from yesterday. I believe it was, or the day before. I think it was yesterday. So the new moon, by the next new moon, which will be in the sign of Aries, because we're now in Aries season. I don't know when that new moon is with all the chaos going on in the world. I haven't exactly kept up with um, moon cycles like I usually do, but I know it's coming up soon, maybe even this coming week. Um, this is the promise. This is the promise of union. This is the promise of this beautiful dream that twins came here to create and look, they're looking out they're, they're looking back. This is satiation and saying, look, we did it. We created this new earth. We created, we created this. We're a significant part of this in bringing this to fruition. And this is union. I mean, this is union, union, union all the way. That's my union card in this deck. This is the earth magic deck. So that's beautiful. So that's what's on the divine masculine's mind is union and coming towards his divine feminine. But like I said earlier, guys, he knows he can't do that unless he comes correct. The divine feminine is so in her power that he knows he can't just bring her crumbs anymore. He can't bring her um, anything less than what she deserves. She will no longer be tolerating it. And she's really, it's, she's not even sad about it. She's at a point where she's accepted and surrendered so much that she knows that she's okay on her own. And that is actually what's going to draw your masculine towards you. When you're in the energy of, you know, frantic longing, that actually repels him because he, you know, nobody can fulfill us, divine feminines. We're supposed to fulfill ourselves. He also wants you to know that he is moving. Regardless of what you're seeing, he's moving. So behind the scenes, there's, you know, this river looks peaceful, but that doesn't mean that nothing's happening. The river is always moving. There is movement in the 3D world. We just can't see it yet. And we're not meant to see it yet. We're meant to have faith and patience. I know everyone hates that P word. I mean, I hear it in other readings. I'm like, oh, patience. But that's what we're learning. He also wants to get across the message, Divine Feminine, that he sees your radiance. So something, I mean, this, this card has come up again in, in past few readings over the past few days. The summer is very significant for these connections. There's going to be a massive change on the planet in the summer. We also see the radiance of the summer, the heat. Um, so this is two meanings. He's letting you know he sees your radiance, but I'm also feeling strongly that the Divine Masculine is coming through this card saying in the summer something really amazing is going to come like setting fire you know and coming forth with this promise and really setting fire to the past and stepping into the present to me this is such a present power card what is in the divine masculine's heart right now for his divine feminine so now we have full moon completion so by the next full moon something radical will have shifted there will be a completion of past cycles and i believe that's a past cycle within your connection so closing out of anything that was toxic closing out of deception and by deception i'm not speaking of um, pathological lie liar or anything like that i'm speaking of deception in terms of divine masculines have been deceiving themselves for decades and years they've been deceiving themselves essentially their entire life of their true nature and who they really are and how powerful they are and they've been closing their heart they've been trying to you know they've been trying to think their way through life and now they're having to feel their way through life thanks to meeting their divine feminine because she opened that she set off this kundalini kundalini energy chakra rising um like a shock to their system and he can no longer go back to the old way of just you know living from his mind he's having to connect to his heart even if he is fighting it he's having to do that and um, again there's movement behind the scenes even if we can't see it so this full moon completion what i'm really seeing for this is by the next full moon again a cycle will have completed within your connection and then we have dragonfly emergence the divine masculine is emerging as the divine masculine and he's stepping out of that distorted masculine energy he's emerging he is emerging trust the process this is not the time to doubt divine feminine you need to really release that so if you're having moments or days or hours where you feel like you're in doubt go meditate go dance put on some music um, you know music that lights up your soul listen to some binaural beats take a salt bath or a salt rinse in the shower go in the ocean if if that's you know still open where you are if that's acceptable and permitted um sage yourself smudge yourself i use palo santo not sage because i prefer the smell but do things that are going to really clear your energy okay chanting is another way 
yoga there's great uh, there's free yoga all around right now people have become very generous there's free yoga yeah and what did i just say music so uh, we were speaking of what's in the divine masculine's heart listen for music he's speaking to you he's bringing harmony into the connection through music he's sending you songs so for instance last night i have to remember the song now it's a fleetwood mac song called everywhere that's what it was go look up the lyrics i'll post it um um, in the description box below if I remember but Fleetwood Mac everywhere it just popped into my head as I was getting ready for bed it was so loud and clear that's your twin flame that's your, that was my divine masculine sending me a message and it was such a beautiful message so they are sending messages through music and understand that he is like the lotus flower right now he is unfolding into his destiny into his true nature give him time this does not happen overnight he's emerging he's emerging Dragonflies might also be significant for some of you. I want to find out what animal energy both twins are embodying right now. This is the spirit of the animal's oracle. Clear. Whew, it's hot here, guys. It is hot already. So hot. These are big cards. Can we have a card for the Divine Feminine, please? That's a lot of cards. See how big these cards are? I'm actually being guided to just spread them out on the table and I'm going to choose one for the Divine Feminine. Puffin partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Okay. Divine masculine. Bison. I've gotten this for the divine masculine quite a few times before. Abundance. Sacred buffalo. White buffalo. Cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. This is an old soul, old soul, divine masculine. Very powerful divine masculine. So the feminine is calling for partnership, but this is also partnership, union within, divine feminine, divine masculine energies within. But she is craving her, her partner right now. There's been a lot of longing in the collective. And bison abundance, this is your masculine saying, I'm taking control and I am strong and powerful. And he's praying, he's expressing gratitude for his divine feminine. Um, let's get a card for the connection, please. Peacock vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. This is Twin Flames realizing this is our time to shine. This is our time to rise and shine. This is not the time to go back to old patterns. This is not the time to stay in deception. This is not the time to blame your partner. This is not the time to be in doubt. This is the time to be confident. This is the time to shine and inspire. This is the time to be grateful. This is the time to be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance and recognize your role in birthing this new earth. So I'm going to stop there, my beloveds. Don't forget to drop me a like, a comment. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. This all helps the channel grow. If you could share the videos, that helps tremendously in growing a channel as well. And once I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away another reading. So remember this reading, the giveaway will be next Thursday. So I will be looking out on all my videos to see who's commenting, who's liking, and who's subscribed. And I will be choosing somebody at random, the spirits, and my guides will help me in selecting that individual who I feel like is in most need at this time. It can most benefit. Um, if you'd like a personal reading from me, please reach out to me at the email below. And if you're interested in a true purpose coaching session or sessions, I offer packages as well. If you're really feeling like maybe a little lost in finding your true soul purpose, I can assist with that. I've been coaching for three years now and I've been corporate coaching for six years. So please reach out to me at the email below. Have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay in your power, stay calm, stay focused.
We are in mission. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.